All right, hello, everybody. Uh, we are from the Minneapolis College of Art and Design. I'd like to thank you for this opportunity today. My name is Michael Burrell. I'm Laren Ballard. And I'm Alicia Ryerson. So the root problem of everything we have come here today for is that 1.5 million New Yorkers are living in poverty and are unable to make ends meet and afford basic necessities such as rent, medical care, and even just put food on the table. Uh, the need for emergency food because of this has increased dramatically. So this year's brief asks us to promote City Harvest Food Rescue Model as the solution to fighting hunger in New York City. So what is preventing City Harvest from being the solution? Well, first of all, many people in New York are not sure of what exactly City Harvest does or are unaware of the food, that, the hunger that is in New York City. So while we were learning about City Harvest, we found some interesting statistics about who actually donates. So we found that individuals give 14% of all donations to City Harvest. Aside from individuals, restaurant partners enable City Harvest to put food on the plates of New York hungry. Over 300,000 people every single week eat food and meals from City Harvest. In the 2007, 2011 excuse me, restaurant guide, City Harvest lists 172 restaurants and 92 eateries, all the partnering with City Harvest to help them make this happen. Um, this is an enormous network of uh, there's an enormous network of uh, people fighting for the same cause, working together in a strong relationship. We want to utilize this network of like-minded organizations to further City Harvest message and reach new individual donors. But who exactly are we trying to reach? This would be New York diners. We know that individuals give the majority of donations, and these individuals are in your restaurants but do they know that there's a connection between City Harvest restaurants and City Harvest? They don't realize that this exists. Uh, New York City is the restaurant capital of the world. Well, the country for sure, questionably the world. And um, these restaurants are filled every night of the week. So we want to take this large network. We feel it is the most valuable asset towards our campaign to reach out and find these new individual donors. We are going to fight hunger in New York City by bringing potential donors to the tables um, that already have a relationship established with City Harvest. Because chances are people that are eating at these restaurants don't know that they feed more than just their customers. An American president once said that all great change in America begins at the dinner table. Many family traditions start by gathering around a dinner table. Loved ones come together to share, me share meals and make memories. But unfortunately today, not all of New York City's families have the means to set tables for themselves. Just like a big family, New York's five boroughs need to be able to feed themselves through City Harvest by setting tables. We want to give them op that opportunity by reserving New York's most generous tables. So how are we going to create awareness and generate buzz around City Harvest and their restaurants? We're going to take the symbol of the family dinner table and place it in the streets of New York City. City Harvest branded tables will be placed in high traffic areas throughout all five boroughs, such as Times Square and Washington Square Park. These tables will be accompanied by sandwich boards, uh, listing graphics and stats on one side for, say, City Harvest sets the table 300,000 times every week for New York's Hungry. The other side will have a map directing diners to City Harvest restaurants. Along with the map is a QR code that brings you to the City Harvest app. The Apple Host City Harvest, oh, the Apple Host City Harvest restaurant guide. And the users will be able to find the restaurant closest to them using geo technology, geo location check technology. Um, during the campaign, they'll be able to skip the wait at restaurants and reserve a table for $25, thus donating to City Harvest directly. And then, uh, based on their location, they'll be able to find, they'll get a list of restaurants in the area, and it'll show uh, the distance to the restaurant, what type of cuisine the restaurant has, uh, along with the address and a website. Once you choose your favorite restaurant, you're able to see how many restaurants, or how many tables have been reserved at that restaurant. And you can also see a live feed 
of the reviews of other generous diners. You can make your reservation and send it directly to the restaurant. This app makes the network of restaurants available to New Yorkers and makes them and gives them the opportunity to, to donate year round. So another way to reserve tables is directly in the restaurant for those who don't have the application. They can go to the restaurant and pay the $25 fee and get seated at one of the City Harvest restaurant tables. Even those who don't have a table still have the chance to donate. The restaurant menus will feature a City Harvest specials menu where all the proceeds go directly to City Harvest. Um, once diners have finished their meal, they'll be presented with their check, and at the bottom of the receipt will be stamped a donation to City Harvest option. This option allows all diners one last opportunity to contribute to the cause, regardless of whether or not they have reserved a table or purchased any City Harvest specials. Uh, during our campaign, City Harvest branded stickers will be provided with all to-go boxes. This will serve just as a simple thank you to diners for choosing to dine at a restaurant that supports City Harvest and their cause. Also, it is a nice message to bring home with them and remind them of what they have done. So, how are we gonna measure the success of this campaign? We can easily measure the success and base it off of how many people downloaded the app and how many donations came in through restaurants from uh, specials and receipt donations and also reserved tables. Here's an example of these measurements uh, based off of the reserved tables. So let's say, you charge $25 to reserve a table, and you place one table in one restaurant for five nights, for one night, sorry, excuse me. Uh, on average, this table will turn over five times in one evening. This will generate $125 in donations in just one night. If we take this one step further, we place three tables at 30 restaurants for one night, turning over five times on average, you'll be able to generate $11,000 in $250, $11,250, excuse me. Um, if we were to implement this for an entire week at 100 of your 172 restaurants, we would be able to have the potential to raise over $250,000. By the end of this campaign, City Harvest will be able to use its existing resources to increase awareness and donations. Um, the restaurants are going to gain more business and they're going to build a reputation to be a bigger player in the fight against hunger. But most importantly, New Yorkers are going to have a chance to fight hunger and better their community by reserving one of New York's most generous tables. Thank you.